The human body is composed of several complex units that work as one. The smallest living unit of the body is cell. Billions of cells, all of them specializing in certain functions, makes up the body. A group of similar cells with similar functions is called a tissue. Tissues with a specific function form an organ. Organs are grouped into system. These systems depend on each other and work together. This chapter, you will learn about the certain body systems, their parts and their functions, and how they are interrelated. What are the different human body systems? There are 11 major organ systems in the human body. These are circulatory system, digestive system, integumentary system, muscular system, skeletal system, nervous system, respiratory system, reproductive system, urinary system, lymphatic system, and endocrine system. Gently press the side of your wrist. Gently press the top of your head. What do you feel? Those are your body's bones. Feel the bones in your arms and legs. How are they different or alike from the bones in your hand? This lesson will discuss all about the skeletal system. The skeletal system gives the body structural support and shape. It holds the body as one and allows it to move. Examples are the framework of an umbrella, fish, lamp, and ostrich. Why is the skeletal system very important? Because it provides the structural framework for the body and protects internal organs such as the heart, lungs, and brain. The functions of the skeleton. It gives the body much needed support. It protects the internal organs in the body. It makes body movement possible through the muscles attached to them. It stores important minerals like calcium. It is where millions of blood cells are produced. Do you know that there are around 206 bones in your body? When you were a baby, you had about 305 bones and some of them eventually fusing together as you grow old. The spinal column and the ribs. The spinal column protects the spinal cord, a very delicate organ. A person whose spinal cord is injured may be paralyzed because spinal cord inside the spinal column is the extension of the brain from the extremities of the body. Neck and backbone are made up of irregular bones called vertebrae. Vertebrae are arranged on top of the other and move over each other slightly. There are 33 vertebrae in the spinal column of a child. As a child grows, the last seven bones join together to form just two bones. The number of bones in the spinal column of an adult is 26. Ribs are the bones at the side of the chest. It protects the lungs and the heart. There are 12 pairs of ribs. The upper 7 pairs are the true ribs because they are connected to the breastbone or the sternum. The lower 5 pairs are called the false ribs. The upper 3 are connected to the breastbone and the last 2 pairs are not connected. These ribs are called floating ribs. The appendicular skeleton. This provides support and aids the body movement. The shoulder has the collarbone and shoulder bone. The clavicle is the collarbone found in front of the shoulder. The scapula is the shoulder bone found at the back of your shoulder. 
The lower extremities are composed of pelvic bones that support the lower parts of the body and aid the movement of legs. Appendages Upper arm has one long bone called the humerus and two bones in the lower arm known as the radius and ulna. Radius or ulna is the longer of the two bones in the human forearm. Each wrist or carpals has eight bones. Palm or metacarpals has five bones. Fingers or phalanges have 14 bones. Legs are made up of long bones. Femur is the upper leg and the longest bone in the body. The smallest bone in the human body can be found in the middle ear. These are the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Tibia and fibula are the two bones in the lower leg. The patella is the knee bone. Tarsals are the ankle bones, which has composed of seven bones. The metatarsals are the foot bones, which consist also of five bones. The phalanges are the two bones, which consist of 14 bones. The bone marrow is very important because it manufactures the blood cells in the body. Inside the bones are hollow spaces in which the red blood cells are manufactured and calcium is stored. Two types of bone marrow The red bone marrow is found in the humerus, femur, pelvis, and vertebrae. The yellow bone marrow is found in many other bones. The structure of the bones Bones are made up of thousands of collagen fibers embedded in mineral salts of calcium and phosphorus. These minerals make the bones hard and strong. The compact bone or the outer layer provides the strength and protection. The spongy bone or the inner layer is the center is less dense and contains a jelly-like yellowish substance called the bone marrow. Joints are formed where two bones met. Each joint is designed for a specific movement, except for the joint in the skull. They can be classified according to the movement and the shape of their parts. The kinds of joints. The first one is the ball and socket joints. Allows movement in all directions. They allow a person to swing his or her arms and legs. Examples are the joints in our shoulder and hips. The hinge joint allows movement in one direction only. Examples of hinge joint are the joints in our elbow and knees. The gliding joint allows side to side and back and forth movement. Examples of gliding joints are the joints in our wrist ankles and vertebrae. The pivot joint allows rotation movement. The joint where two bone of lower arm, the radius and ulna meet is a pivot joint. This joint allows a person to twist the lower arm. The joint between the first and second vertebrae in your neck. Number five is the immovable or fixed joint. Do not allow movement. Sutures in the skull are immovable joint. All skull bones except the lower jaw are joined at sutures. Helpful habits to keep skeletal system healthy. Number one is do regular exercises. Number two, eat rich food or food rich in calcium and vitamin D. Number three, Wear proper equipment while playing a game or riding a bike.